Homelessness in New York City continues to be an issue. Some of those are people at risk for homeless, senior citizens, and often they go unnoticed. The Senior Homeless Project at Bronx Works helps senior citizens in many ways avoid eviction. Joining us now to tell us more about the program along with other senior services, we welcome now Bronx Works Development Director, Ken Small, who's no guest, uh, no stranger to being a guest here on our studio. Thanks. Darren, it's good to be back. How good are to have you? you back. How's everything going? Good, good. Thank you. Good. I want to have this conversation because it's very important as we sure. talk about homelessness in New York City. Everybody's concerned about homelessness. Of but course. When you really talk about seniors being affected, um, I think that's often the, the, the unnoticed group, as we said in the, in the intro. Right. Talk about how big homelessness is amongst seniors. You know, one of the real struggles, Darren, is it's often difficult to get a handle on how big this issue is because oftentimes what happens with seniors who are vulnerable to homelessness is you don't see them. Mm -hmm. So they're not the folks that you typically see on the streets. They're not the folks that you typically see riding subways. They may be the folks who are living in doubled up situations. They may be the folks that are living in situations that aren't optimal, but because they're kind of hidden, we oftentimes don't pay a whole lot of attention to them. And sometimes the struggle is bringing concerns that relate to seniors, seniors' homelessness, and seniors at risk of being homelessness. A big issue is bringing more attention to that concern. And that's one of the things that Bronx Works has been focusing on now for a number of years. And that's a reason why we have a number of programs that specifically target older adults who may be vulnerable to homelessness. And you've got a homelessness prevention project. And so talk to us about that. Among and other things. Among, yeah, oh yeah, amongst other things that yeah. really deals with, that deals with seniors. Yeah, the Seniors Homelessness Prevention Project is a project that is specifically based in Bronx Housing Court. Mm -hmm. And it's the only program of its kind anywhere in terms of the five housing courts here in New York City. And it was created specifically because the administrative judge, or administrative judges, I should say, at Bronx Housing Court noticed that there were many seniors who needed help in terms of navigating the housing court procedure, the housing court process, but did not have any assistance. So about six, seven years ago, the gentleman who was then the chief administrative judge at Bronx Housing Court came to Bronx Works because he knew that Bronx Works had a number of programs and services that focused on eviction prevention and he said what could be done and we began a pilot project that allowed us to basically retain one person that one person worked with about 150 seniors the initial year we quickly realized that we needed more than one person. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, we went back to a, a private funder, asked the funder if we could get additional resources. The additional resources enabled us to retain two staff persons to do casework with seniors and a third staff person to do intake and assessments. And as a result, over the course of the last two years, we've been able to engage over 420 seniors. And looking at what you've been able to do through private dollars, that's been great. Mm -hmm. Looking right now, there's also a push to try to get some public funding to be able to help you right. uh, through, the, through the city budget. Where does that stand? Yeah, We've been very fortunate in terms of the current fiscal year, meaning the year that's going to end June 30th. I say fortunate in the sense that last year we had an outreach and education effort to the city council. And it kind of put us in a position where we were able to get our feet wet. Uh, and it also allowed us to help raise awareness of this program. So we were fortunate to receive a small grant from the city council speaker. Uh, this year, the city budget is still in development. It's about 95, 96% done, but there's some minor details that still need to be worked out. So there are conversations that are still going on in terms of funding for the Seniors Homelessness Prevention Project with respect to public support. We're continuing to keep our fingers crossed. We know that we've had a number of folks in terms of the Bronx delegation of the City Council who have been very strong and very forceful advocates on our behalf. Uh, Vanessa Gibson, 
Councilman Salamanca, Councilman Torres, uh, they've all been very strong, very forceful advocates for this particular effort. So now it's a matter of waiting a couple of more weeks to see what happens between now and June 30th. July 1, as you know, the city has to have a budget completely finalized. And hopefully it won't be included in the, fi in, in the finalized budget. Talk to me about we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed in that regard. Yeah, a lot of lobbying going on during this time? or. Um, we sometimes shy away from the word lobbying, but what we do say is we, Advocating. Sp we spent a lot of time engaging our elected officials. We spent a lot of time with program participants who were previously enrolled in the program to get them to tell the story, their stories. And we've also done some work with the media so that, the, you know, I'm here talking about the program, mm. so that the general public can also uh, become more aware of this effort and become more aware of concerns affecting seniors and housing in general. Which leads me to my next question about what exactly are the concerns? Because I think we don't always have a full grasp and a full knowledge as to how seniors are adversely affected, what they go through in housing right. court, and what kind of advocacy you provide, particularly at the level of, of court. Yeah, well there's a few things that typically happen in housing court. One is they're there. And just the process of being able to get through the court building itself to go from part one to part two and to have an understanding of what all the legalese means. Um, you know, there are folks out there who have doctorates who would have trouble navigating Bronx Housing Court on their own, much less an older adult who may have a physical challenge, an older adult who may have limited English proficiency. So what we do in part is to help the seniors get through court, understand what's being said during the course of the court proceedings. Another big part of what we do with the Seniors Homelessness Prevention Project is to look to identify additional income sources for the senior. So we check to see if the senior has applied for food stamps. We check to see if the senior has health insurance, uh, health prescription discounts. We look for other income support so as to increase the amount of income that that senior may have and in the process therefore reduce the likelihood that she or he will end up back in housing court once we've taken care of their case. Mm -hmm. And you guys have touted, and this is a wonderful number, 424 seniors actually have been helped out and mm -hmm. prevented from becoming homeless right. since the program since the program has first gotten started. Last two years. Yeah. That's, what do you look at, 424 people over the two-year period. Mm -hmm. What does that say to you? Because, I mean, right now, that makes me cringe. Um, what it says to me is, thank goodness we have this program, because had this program not existed, there's a strong likelihood that those older adults may have ended up in the city shelter system. And I think what sometimes folks forget in terms of this story is, not only is this a good human interest story, this is also a good economic efficiency story. So on average, it costs us about $1,200, $1,300 to keep a senior out of the shelter system. If a senior winds up in the shelter system, the city's gonna end up spending over $27,000. Mm. So take your choice. Do you wanna spend $1,200 to $1,300 doing prevention, or do you wanna spend over $27,000 to keep a senior in a shelter? I think the numbers speak for, the numbers speak for themselves. By way of public support, I mean, obviously, obviously you've got a lot of you know, community support, elected officials are supporting. What can the public do in helping to support this? I think there's a few things that the public can do right now. Um, they could go to the Bronx Works webpage, and we actually have on our website, we have a page that provides more information that relates to the program. So in terms of education, that's a very good, a very important first step. And folks who are here in the Bronx, they can call their respective city council persons to continue to urge them to support this particular legislation. And of course, we want people to find out more about it. Now, if you want more information, you go to www.bronxworks.org. You can find out more information about this particular program as well as the other senior services. And very briefly, tell us a little bit about some of the other senior services you have. 
Well, just to kind of like very quickly run through a laundry list, Bronx Works has four senior centers. We also provide social services at the naturally occurring retirement community in River Park Towers. And we have a minor repair program that provides home repair services for older adults as well. In addition, we have four walk-in offices that, are, that provide services to the general public, but about a third to two-fifths of the people who use those services are seniors. Ken Smalls, Development Director of Bronx Works, is always good to have you, and best wishes on this. Of course, we'll continue to follow this, and hopefully you can come back and share with us some good news. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. All righty, Ken Small. All righty. Listen, stay with us. we got more show coming up. Stay with us.